<laughs> Weather-wise here, it is extremely hot, so you definitely really want to be careful. That's yes. right, and the heat's only going to get worse. Yes, and you said it. If you thought today was hot, yeah, get, uh, ready. get ready. We're going to mm. add a few degrees to that and add several degrees in terms of those feels-like <laughs> numbers. 89 right now in Indianapolis. I guess there's some good news here. We've got a little bit of a breeze. Bad news, that dew point at 72 means high humidity levels and in turn, higher feels like temperatures. It feels like 97 in Indianapolis right now, feels like 99 in Bloomington. But those feels like numbers go into the triple digits tomorrow and stay there through Sunday. It's the high heat, high humidity, and really the duration of this event, the reasons for an excessive heat warning that's been issued by the National Weather Service. Goes into effect at 2 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Stays in effect all weekend long. Not set to expire until 8 p.m. on Sunday. So, I've got some advice for you. If you don't like the heat and the high humidity, take advantage of this evening to do perhaps some yard work, mow the lawn. It's warm, it's muggy, but it's not as bad as it's going to get. And I don't think those storm chances will impact everybody, and you can see that clearly with live Doppler 13 radar. We are tracking a few. We're east along I-70. These cells moving into Spiceland now. Looks like this one is going to miss you, Shelbyville, but you've got another one just to your north and all of these tracking to the south and east. We track northeast up along Interstate 69. We've got heavy rain over Hartford City right now, moving southeast toward Eaton and Red Key. We'll keep these in the forecast off and on this evening. As we head into tomorrow morning on the edge of the heat, we may get a couple of thunderstorms early tomorrow morning, but then we turn our attention to the high heat, high humidity. We'll be in the 80s by 10 a.m., 90s tomorrow afternoon, staying there through the end of the weekend, hazy, hot, and humid. This will be a dangerous stretch. Finally starts to change. We get a better chance for some scattered showers and thunderstorms developing later in the day on Sunday, and the heat will break by early next week. All right, can't wait for the break next week. Angela, thank you.